Hello, welcome to another episode of Ukulele AMA. Today's question comes from one of my patrons, Alan, and he asks, how can I play the chord 4225 more easily? So that chord looks something like this. It's a bit of a beast, right? And I've actually gotten this question a lot with this chord and others like it. And what usually happens is something like this. They sit and they'll take their index finger, they'll bar it across the second fret, and then they'll take their pinky and put it on the fifth fret of the A string. And then the last step there is to cross that ring finger over to the fourth fret of the G string. And they find that that's just so hard to do because they kind of get a nice stable D chord here. And then that finger just doesn't want to come over. And the trick to playing this chord and many others like it is just a little bit of a shift in your perspective. Instead of building it like this and then trying to add that four, which might add some tension on the pinky and the index finger, what if you instead started with that four and the bar and then you added the pinky? For most people, this is as simple as it is. It, all of a sudden it just clicks. And the reason is, is because now the pinky, you see the angle that it's sitting at? You see how it's like this versus when I build it with the pinky first and try to cross up, that pinky angle is a little bit more steep. And that's just because of the perspective of building the chord in a different way. So the tip here is actually much larger than just this little B minor chord of 4225. It's really changing your perspective of how you fret a chord. Try starting with different fingers to lead your fretting habits. This could also be done with a much more simple chord, like let's take E minor. And let's say that you really struggle playing E minor really quickly. Well, that might be because you're always doing something like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're always using your ring finger, then your middle finger, then your index finger. Or maybe you're doing it the other way, the index, middle, and then the ring. The trick to getting faster with it, more comfortable with it, is to do it whatever ways you're not doing it. So if you're always going like this, try to start going like this. It's going to feel really awkward and off at first, but eventually it'll become more comfortable. And then you'll be comfortable leading with this finger, and you'll also be comfortable leading with this finger, which means when you build the chord instead of going like this, you might go like this. <laughs> and if you practice leading with this finger too, and trying those different ways, eventually you'll get be comfortable leading with all three fingers all at once. So sometimes this perspective change is all we need to make a chord that seems impossible or really difficult much more approachable. Remember, just try leading with different fingers and building it in different orders, and you'll be playing it in no time. So let me know if that helps, Alan, with this B minor chord, if that makes it easier for you. And if you'd like to see your question answered here on Ukulele AMA, be sure to leave it down in the comments below or check out my Patreon page, which is linked in the description. Thanks so much. Take it easy.